this section heading is called encoding. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to log into the system as root. Once inside of here, we're going to be doing a lot of the same steps that we did inside of Lab 5. Now what we're going to illustrate here in this section is the reasons why we encoded the script element that we supplied to the browser. So the first thing we'll do here is we're going to set up a collection server. So we're setting up a collection server at this location, but we're doing it for a different reason. So inside of Lab 5, we did it so that we could verify that we could collect session IDs. And in this instance here, we're going to do it so that we can verify that we cannot. So once we have the collection server started, we're going to minimize, and then we're going to go inside the exploits directory, inside of Lab 5, and then once again, right-click, open with LeafPad. So here's that script element. So what we're going to do to illustrate why we needed to encode this is we're basically just going to supply it as is to the browser. Now the reasons why we had to encode, it basically has to do with these plus characters over here. So these plus characters are going to be interpreted differently when they're entered into the browser. So for example, if you look up in Oracle's documentation, it's going to define these plus characters as either a you know, concatenation or addition to, like we would expect. However, when you supply them to the browser, your browser is going to interpret them as white space. So what we're going to do to investigate this is we're going to just supply it as is. So I'm going to click in here, control A, control C. So we'll close this, go to our browser. And then once we navigate to yourbank.com, we're going to append our query parameter. And then we'll define the my username variable over here with that script element as is. So control V, enter. Now, already different that we see that was done in lab five is we do not see that unresolved image over in the upper right. So if we minimize this and go to our collection server, we're also going to see that we do not see any session ID collected as well. So now going back to the browser, we're going to right click and view the page source. Inside the page source, you can see exactly what was outlined in RFC 1866 which is the fact that your browser is going to interpret that plus character as white space and not as concatenation or addition to. So that is the reason why we encoded the script element inside of Lab 5.